Start. Hi, Bobo. Please sit down. Thank you, ma'am. My name is Pauline, ma'am. And what is your name? My name is Krishna Vishala and I am from 9K. That's very good. And what is your name? My name is Anshika Shukla and I am also from 9K. Yes, Vaishnavi Sara, you are candidate 24A and Vanshika Shukla, you are candidate 24B. Vaishnavi, can you tell me something about the sports activities conducted in your school? Yes, there are various sports activities conducted in my school as such as cricket, football and hockey. And last year in, uh, last year in November, there was a sport meeting held in our school. And for the chi and for the children, some uh, and some, uh, some other sports was being held like a hurdle and a frog race. And it was very and it was very joyful and very exciting to see them by jumping and uh, jumping and running. And I too joined uh, the sports and act as a volunteer. Which is your favorite sport? I like the football. That's good. Now, Vanshika <coughs> will tell us what uh, does she know about her school library. Studying in Wood Shepherd Convent School. My school contains a very vast library which contains many religious books, many fictional books, along with story and poem books. Students are given a library card by which they can even publish the books for their homes. There are two pe periods in a week for students so that they can go to the library and children are there provided many books so that they can read and can gain knowledge. That's very good. Now let us move on to the next topic. Candidate A will introduce us about her topic. After candidate A finishes, candidate B will ask you a question. After candidate B finishes, I will also ask you a couple of questions. Would you now like to begin with your topic? Yes ma'am. Please begin. My topic is about the Great India Rhinoceros, which is, has been taken from my chapter environment. The Great India Rhinoceros or the Great One Town Rhinoceros is a large member. It is primarily found in the northeastern India, Nepal, and some parts of Bhutan. It is confined to the tall grasslands and in the forest of the foothills of the Himalayas. In 2000, the, in Assam alone, there are about 1,800 rhinoceros, and in 2008, uh, about 400 rhinoceros were being sent to the Nepal Jhansa National Park. The Indian rhinoceros is a large mammal and it has very little body hair. Aside from eyelashes, tail prints. It has a very long horn which is recorded of about 25 cm. The, uh, the rhinoceros is illegally posed for its horn, is illegally posed for its horn and for making the traditional Chinese medicines and other oriental medicines. The Indian and the Nepali government have taken major steps towards the conservation of this rhinoceros with the help of WWF. World World Wide Fund and uh, by building so many national parks and, uh, and some of the examples are of Kaziranga National Park, the Manas National Park in Assam and the Royal Chitra National Park in Nepal are the homes of this endangered species. Very good. Candidate B will ask a question to candidate A. What steps can be taken by the government to protect Indian rhinos? There, there are various steps taken by the government to conserve the Indian rhinoceros by building various national parks like Kaziranga and the Manas National and the Kaziranga National Park and the Manas National Park in Assam and the Royal uh, Chitwan National Park in Nepal. Very good. Do you know what is the natural habitat of rhinoceros in India? Yes, sir. I know uh, the rhinoceros is found in the foothills of the Himalayas, Himalayas and it is confined to the tall grasslands. Okay, do you know some species of rhinoceros? Yes, there, there are various species of the rhinoceros such as the uh, Indian rhinoceros, the great one horn rhinoceros and the, and the Asian one horn rhinoceros. That's fantastic. Now candidate B will introduce us about her topic. After candidate B finishes, candidate A will ask you a question. After candidate A finishes, I will also ask you a couple of questions. Would you now like to begin with your topic? Please start. My topic is environment pollution. Pollution is a world problem. Today, whatever little oxygen we inhale is polluted. By pollution, we mean to destroy a purity of our things. Pollution is mainly categorized into four major categories, namely the land pollution, the noise pollution, the air pollution, and the water pollution. 
air pollution is one of the major ecological problems our country is facing today. Because we can't stop us from DC, air pollution is mainly prominent in the big cities like Kolkata, Delhi, Pune, Bangalore, and even in Delhi. Noise pollution is no less dangerous because it causes many diseases like headache, sleep loss, hearing loss, and high blood pressure. We are aware that the amount of water present in our world is very less, though we waste water. Instead of wasting it, we should conserve it. Pollution of any type is a major threat to our life because it helps in the contribution of many diseases. Several steps can be taken to stop pollution. Firstly, the government should make some strict laws to stop deforestation. People both in rural areas and urban areas should be informed about the harmful effects of pollution. That's very interesting. Candidate B A will now ask a question to candidate B. What is pollution? Pollution is a world problem. Only whatever level of human being is polluted. The pollution we need to destroy a purity of our things. Land pollution is caused by the dumping and disposal of waste products into the soil. Deforestation also leads to the land pollution. Hence, it is necessary to start deep plantation as a social service and national program. Okay, what steps have been taken by the government to get rid of pollution? Health steps can be taken by the government to stop pollution not only in our country but in the entire nation. Have you heard about the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan started by a Prime Minister? Yes, I have heard about it. It is a policy which is started by a Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Singh Modi, to make our environment neat and clean. That's fantastic. Now let us move on to the next star. I will be reading a problem for you and you have to discuss together and find a solution for the problem. You have one minute to discuss about your problem. Your problem is your friend is a part of the district volleyball team and often has to miss classes. His teacher and his parents are unhappy about this and have asked him to quit sports. With your partner, discuss what he should do to resolve his problem. Well, aside from that, he has been to the district level and it is a great achievement. So we should encourage him to go to the higher levels in sports, not to discourage him. Yes, if the problem is, uh, if the, uh, if the problem is of study, so we can help him by uh, for the studies. We can do uh, we can do his notes. We can complete his homework. Yes, we can also go to his home and and also encourage other students to help him. We can increase his parents and te and uh, teachers and the school principals to convince them uh, to send him for the cricket to send him for the volleyball. Do you agree? Yes, I agree with you. I think that uh, he should be he should given a chance because uh, for playing this uh, this was big opportunity to he got he should be uh, he should get the chance for playing a cricket. But my sir, don't you think that it is going to affect his studies? Yes, I think it will affect his studies. But uh, instead he should uh, uh, instead he should take a more uh, more uh, interested in the studies also. If then his parents will not to be disagree about his studies. Yes, I think you should create a balance between both these lines. Okay, you can stop the discussion now. Vaishnavi, I would like to know from you that how will you help your friend to cover his debt in that, that is, as he is taking interest in sports and game, equally he has to perform well in studies as well, so that his parents and teachers are not disappointed. So how are you going to convince your friend to take interest in studies as well? I will, I will do some steps uh, to make him convinced by, by saying if you will do the good marks and if you will uh, take the, if you, if you will give the good marks to your parents, they will naturally, they will agree with you and they will send you to the, uh, for playing the volleyball. So I, I think that I will, I will tell him for the, for, uh, for doing uh, good results in the, in the studies. Okay, Vanshika, <coughs> if your friend is not interested in study, he is only interested in sports and games, how would you that is make him aware about the importance of study as well? <coughs> I am going to make him aware about that what he likes to just to play cricket is not just to like play for volleyball is not at all good because if he is going higher then it will affect his study and also if he is not looking after his study, his parents, teachers as well as principals are not going to promote him to go to the volleyball and play higher level. Okay, that's very uh, good. That's the end of your task.